Scores of an IQ test have a bell-shaped distribution with a mean of 100, standard deviation of 14. Use the empirical rule, which I call the 68, 95, 99, 7 rule, to determine the following. What percentage of people have an IQ score between 58 and 142? And then we have two other parts, very similar. Let's first draw this curve out. So you see here, I go ahead and first label the normal curve with 100. It's right below it, standard deviation of 14. Always do that. And then label it and draw it out. So it looks like we're going to need to go out three standard deviations. So let's go ahead and go out three standard deviations above and three standard deviations below. And now we see this image. So what is this first one? So what percent have an IQ score between 58 and 142? Well, that is what? That's out three standard deviations. So that is the 99.7. Okay, what percentage of people have an IQ score less than 72 or greater than 128? So recall, so here's my curve again, 95% are within two standard deviations. So that's between the 72 and 128. So we're looking for what's outside of that. So we're looking for these two tails here. So if 95% is in the middle, what's left for the tails? Good, 5%. Now what percent have a... IQ score greater than 114. Okay, maybe a little trickier. So notice that 114 is one standard deviation out, right? So that means that, you know, if I were going uh, between those two, let's say between 114 and 86, one standard deviation out, we know that 68% is within one. So 68% is within one. What's left for both tails? 32% is for both tails tails. So if 32% is in both these tails, we just want one of those tails, the above 114. So 32 divided by 2 is 16%. So again, draw these out and label. You can label the individual pieces if you want. Not, not necessary, though. You can just kind of use logic to get to those answers.